what we see is a need, and I will point that out also to Abolition uh, 2000, the need to bring everybody on board and to look at uh, every single problem from all the dimensions that this problem has and see how we uh, bring together the instruments that, are, that have been developed for one field and the instruments that have been developed for uh, the other fields and bring them together to, to have action that is more realistic and is more focused. And so the last campaign that Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King was working on before he was assassinated was a poor people's campaign. And he said that the Achilles heel, the, the weak point of a, a system that saw racism and econo economic exploitation and militarism as these tripartite evils, the weakness of that um, system that pulled those evils together was to unite and organize poor people across racial and geographic lines and engage in, in massive uh, civil disobedience, um, nonviolent resistance. We really need education, education, education of the younger generation as to what the real cost is of spending all this money on nuclear weapons. And actually, we also need to educate people that apparent threats are not always real threats. They are just noise. Possibly as noisy as Boris Johnson saying he'll raise the cap on nuclear weapons by another 80 warheads. I want to say sports itself is very powerful. Regardless of po speaking political messages or diplomatic agenda, just through the sports, we became as one and a divided Korea was united in a short period of time that sports seems to serve as a magical glue. Therefore, where language fails to speak, sports fills the gap and sports fills the silence and broaden understanding. I've actually spoken at a uh, women's rights, um, women's march in, in London on specifically on the issue of nuclear weapons, because even then the organizers were sort of very aware that a nuclear war would disproportionately affect women. It's something that you wouldn't necessarily think of straight off the bat. Do you see sort of organizers of these protests now sort of reaching out a lot more and sort of bringing in all the different issues um, that sort of make up women's rights or climate change, for example. Um, I think young people, they're sort of more driven by a very real sort of awareness that their planet is at peril. And they see that through climate change, they see that through a possible nuclear war, because it's more real for them. It's sort of, it is their future, it is their planet. So a nonviolent culture is being developed since since many long time ago since long centuries ago but little by little in humanity is gaining gaining momentum and i would say that in this particular moment where we are connected as humanity also with with the rest of the species that live in this planet we are feeling um, very intensively and, and the press is publishing every day uh, the, the need of a nonviolent behavior, a nonviolent culture, and a nonviolent social organization, a real democracy that could, in fact, um, draw again the society in nonviolent ways. Another thing I think is really important is kind of the inter, interpersonal, um, sort of the way that we all need to take care of ourselves as we do this work, it's, we do, we're doing important social action work, it's crucial. And at the same time, we have to attend to our health, we have to attend to our personal lives, we have to find the joy in our life. Um, we're, trying to, we're trying to save a world, a, a beautiful planet, and we have, to, we have to enjoy the beauty of that planet as well as, as, well as do our work. And we have, to, we have to be good to each other we are now facing what some people call collapse. I mean, like, you know, Pablo Servigne and Raphael, Stephen, um, they've written stuff. They are now talking about collapse. And in fact, there is a new field now, collapsology. So is it possible to abolish warfare, to say if there is a disagreement, if there is a contradiction, 
resolve it by just simply talking with no use of weapons, no use of, of violence. Is that possible? My sense is that why not? 